Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. I got monkey behind the camera. Yep. Well, she's way over there behind the camera. She's over. Anyway, I'm back at the house, sitting on my trailer because I'm getting ready for next weekend or camp out. I'm going to do a solo Friday night, and then Saturday, monkey's coming, and she's going to spend Saturday night. But we're gonna sleep on this thing. So what I'm gonna do, this is a table. It's not the actual floor. I'll tell you some ideas I got for this thing. And as you can see, some of the red here. I just threw some paint on it because I didn't wanna look that much like a redneck when I get out there, but. <laughs> You'll look like a redneck riding down the road. But. And we got lights on it too. One's brighter than the other because they're mismatched lights. But it's what I had in the garage, you know? Yeah, you use it what you have. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I got these leftover temples. I got two of them, they're adjustable. And what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna put one up front and one in the back. And that's gonna help hold our tarp. So I wanna set this tarp up and kind of see what I'm looking at, kind of get an idea for when I get out there of how I'm going to set it up, what I need to bring if I'm going to have to attach it somehow or if I can drive them into the ground. It doesn't have to be real tall because I'm just going to be sitting in it and laying in it. Right, yep. Monk? Yep. So anyway, we're going to get into that. I think Monkey's going to help. I'm here. Or are you just going to watch? Maybe both. <laughs> I'll help watch you. Stick around, guys. I'm supposed to get some rain later. So, anyway, I want to get this set up, and that way I'll get an idea of what I'm looking at when I get out there. Stick around. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, guys. Now I've got, I've got the little metal tent, tent stakes. That's that I always keep in my pack, and that my tarp came with. But we're in Florida; those don't always work well, do they? No. Because they're so thin, just barely bigger than a coat hanger. So they pull where it's sand all over. So I'm going to bring these with me. I'm going to keep these with me in my pack. Um, I know everybody says, oh, those are junk, they're too big, you gotta drive them in, they're real hard to drive in. Well, that's true, but when you're dealing with sand, it ain't. You, you know, <laughs> I mean, put these in at an angle, they stay in better than, than the metal ones. Uh, metal ones are all right to help hold the tent now because you got your stuff in there, you're gonna be in it, you don't have to worry about it. But, so anyway, I've got a bunch of these, and this is a table, a six foot table, for our selling stuff when we have yard sales. Monkey had a yard sale yesterday and today. She had one last week. Um, yep. So, but this is what we're gonna bring. And I'll tell you some idea. This is not always gonna be like this, guys. Mm -hmm. That bunch of wire. There's 25 feet of wire on there for, what, an eight foot trailer. But those lights are not always gonna be back there, down that low. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to put sides on here and then the light will be up higher on the sides. That's going to be another another idea I've got for this thing. Right, Monk? Yep. And I'll tell you about it here in a little bit. Now, this is not the one that came with the uh, with my hammock. <laughs> nope. Why, Monk? Don't throw that away. Because somebody burned it. Yeah, monkey burned it up when she burned up my campsite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, your tent is okay. Went in the house to get stuff, and I came back out to this. It walked its way up here, and whoosh! All the stuff I had in that chair, the extra. Oh yeah, your tent is fine. Extra stakes and stuff. Don't blame me. Oh, what's this? Oh, you get something? A something? There's steaks. There's steaks in with it, so that's good. So I always have plenty of steaks. Feels like there's only two in there. Yeah. 
So, but before I do that, let's bring you over here. What's your leg, monk? Uh, Monkey's messing up my video. I am not. As usual. So my idea is to put one here. I'm 5'7", this table's six foot. So this is my idea. Put one here. Like I said, I may have to wire that. But I don't know. I'm gonna just kind of jam it into the ground right now first. Give me a hammer monk. I think that'll be high enough once I get in there. It'll be high enough to sit up, I think, in case it rains. Yeah. Okay, let's do the same thing on the front. Like I said, I still may have to... Uh... <laughs> still may have to figure out a way to wire this to the frame of the trailer. It's not a big deal. Right, Monk? Yep. too high because then you get that right now the tarp I don't think has eyelids in it Probably not. so sorry I just smacked monkey in the arm <coughs> what can you use those little holes okay, these loops Well, those are on the corners. Yeah. But I'm going to need... See, there's none in the center here. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. So... Mm. What we can do... Take that corner there. And put it in there. Make sure you're not playing the camera. Mm. Oh, here yeah, they fix the camera. They can't, the other they can't see anything. Alright. So, put that there. Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> See, I'm gonna have to bring this out some. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hold that for me, Monk. See, and then these corners they get put down like that. Follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I think I've got something I can use over here as it goes across here. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, you can take that one off of there. All right. This has a hole like that on each one of these, which should go right over top of that, like that. Okay? So you're going to hook it? And have it inside. Okay, well. so. I'll have it. Why don't you lift that up out of there? Something like this. Yeah. Let's see. 
right, let's go. That right here. All right. All right. There's that. Now I'm going to drive these down in a little bit. And then we'll put the tarp over it. So this was just to get an idea of where I want it. All right, so this is what we got so far. All right, just try to get it centered. great I think now I'm going to get my wait hang on a second I got something over here all right got some of these that survived the fire that monkey started no I didn't start that so I got three of these they got the adjustable things so that's cool So I'm going to I'm going to tie one on each corner. I wonder if this one's got adjustables in it. Let's see. Let's open this up. First time I set the tarp up because last year on my annual solo, I didn't. Uh, no, see, I didn't, um, I didn't need the tarp, so. All right, so let me get these tied off on at least three corners. Then I'll kick you back on. And we'll drive the stakes into the ground. Hang tight. All right, it's starting to look like stuff now, guys. those kind of like a rubber deal in there to keep it from whoops punching through okay so this I pound it in directly in the center but it's got to go whoops it has to go over here more Kind of match the other one. There. That'll be my home for one night. Yeah. That'll work. And I can lower it down with these. If it rains too bad, I can lower it down. 
tighten up my guy wires, guy wires, <laughs> my guidelines there, you know, so so it doesn't get water in it. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm just going to tighten this one up a little bit more. I got a table over here behind me. Yeah, that'll be all right. Pull that stake out of the ground over there. Put it about right there. That'll work. Now, Awesome. Awesome ball. Yeah. Then I can adjust it as I need when I get out to my campsite. Now I'm too far over this way, but that's fine. I mean, like I said, if it rains too hard, I can always lower it down. And pretty much just make a little pup tent, you know. But this, it's big enough. I can set in. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I forgot to turn the screen around. I can set up in here. Talk to you guys at night. Tighten it up a little bit more, but yeah. Perfect, good. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Like I said, I can lower it down and take my pegs out more if I want. If it comes up a bad rain, I've got plenty of room in here either way. Yeah, yeah. If it comes up a big rain, I don't know if it's supposed to rain yet or not, but mm. uh, yeah. <laughs> and I've always got extra cordage in case I need it. I think I'll buy another one of these just yeah. to have because I mean it rolls up into nothing it weighs nothing yeah just in case yep. yeah this will work mm -hmm. and my little air pad yeah you see me in there yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah get my little air pad on here yep I still got room to put my pack mm -hmm. so it doesn't get wet right yeah what do you guys think what do you think monk good so what what I'm thinking about doing guys is putting sides up on here it won't be this high but putting sides up and then uh you know removable back but then making a top that's just a little bit bigger so it sets right on top of it right so when i'm not using it as a wagon i can just set that top right on it yep. and i'll have a little tiny camper there you go <laughs> that's pretty cool huh mm -hmm. so there's that 
Let me see the lights. I'll show you the lights. The right ones, that one's a little brighter, but it's a different, it's a mismatched bulb. What happened was he must have broke one. He bought a whole set because it was in her dad's stuff. Because it's usually just as cheap to buy a whole set. And it came with wiring harness and everything. So I think, but anyway, that's just an extra one that I had from work. Right. from the shop so I'd say what he did was broke one or one got broke and he just bought a whole set and just replaced the one mm -hmm. it's always better to go that way because you know you got your extra pigtails and stuff so check this out <laughs> there they are now I was looking for a flasher I got four of them none of them work <laughs> so they would flash but down here in Florida, I need two headlights that shine out a hundred feet and one tail light that shines out a hundred feet. 600 at night, a hundred in the daytime. But I got two on here, so, and then I got the two headlights. And then I can run it on the street. But I'm not gonna be like on a major highway or anything, so. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh, Monk? Yeah. Climb in there, Monk. See what you think of it. <laughs> and I don't even have to unhook it no. from the tractor. No. No. Oh, crap. <laughs> Mommy's here. See, so I can sit up in there yeah. and talk to the camera and stuff. Yeah. Tell a story at night. Yeah. You like it? Bruno likes it. <laughs> <laughs> so for now, that's my little floor in my bed. Lay down. Lay down on it. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Then, you know, you got your air pad. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. It'll be all right, won't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, so now I'll take it down, wrap it all up, put it back in this little bag. Yeah. What? Ah. I should camp out in it tonight. Yeah? No, because <laughs> I want the first time to be out there. Yeah. So they'll experience it with me. Right. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to take this down okay. and I'll speed it up. I like it. What do you think, Mama? Yeah. And you thought I was crazy, didn't you? Well. She was going to throw that bed frame. It's out, what is it, a futon? It was for my day bed. Yeah, futon, day yeah. bed, whatever. Anyway, she was going to throw that out for the, out front for the scrappers. You know, to come and pick up. I said, what are you going to do with that? She said, well, I'm just going to throw it out front for the scrappers while you want it. And I said, yes, I do. <laughs> and I sat over there, because I already had this in mind, what I was going to do with that bed frame. <laughs> and sat over there beside the shed for how long? A year? Yeah. yeah. Probably, anyway, a good while. <laughs> I knew what I was going to do with it. And then the other day, I was like, man, she, she carried 
a lot of this wood over <laughs> by herself, one piece at a time from right there. I was like, that's a lot of work. So I need a wagon. It's time to build that wagon I've been wanting to build. And the wheels came from that big old trailer that's, that Gary started and never finished. Right. Uh, I did a video on that. <coughs> I'll throw a clip in right now. And um, so that's where the wheels come from. I gave $25 for that, I think 20 bucks. Something like 20 that. or 25. Anyway, so the lights were free. They were her dad's. Bed frame, well, we had paid for, but it did its job. And then, so it was kind of free. We already had it. Yep. So pretty much, if you want to count them wheels and tires, I got what 25 bucks in there it's too bad i got some rid paint. of the bed frame you could use that for the sides yeah it would have looked nice <laughs> well i would only have one side though yeah that's true yeah because that would have been one cool side yeah because yeah. it had the slats yeah that would have looked cool but um that's all right um i'll just build some <laughs> i think i'll make the sides removable too when i put the sides on there it's like an old steak truck. Yeah. State bed truck. State truck. State bed truck. You know, you can pull this. An old farm truck. Remember, they would yeah. pull the sides off, run a flatbed, or they'd put the sides on. I think I'll do that. And then, like I said, build me a top. Yeah. And I can just set it up there. I'll have myself a little camper. That'll work out. And I'll make the back door <laughs> raise up like this. And then have a couple of little fold down legs. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have a little porch mm -hmm. on my little camper. There I go. think it'll be cool, guys. Yeah. And as far as the lights go, you know, it's not a big deal. I can make them unplug and plug in. But yeah, hopefully you guys like it. I guess it really doesn't matter. I like it. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that front beam's not straight. I just now noticed it. Yeah. It goes like this. Yeah. Huh. I'll be dog. It'll be fine. Yeah. Anyway, so I just threw some paint on it. Painted the tires black and the wheels yellow. And the trailer red. Because <laughs> it's on a John Deere. And I, I figure, well, let's at least have some kind of international colors on it. <laughs> so, yeah, stick around. Uh, let's see. I'm going out Friday, and then she'll come out Saturday more. I think she's going to come out and visit me Friday night. Yeah, maybe. Depends on what her other man's doing. No. <laughs> but I think she's going to bring Bruno out and let him run around a little bit and visit for a little while. But and then uh, Saturday, she's going to come out, and she's going to spend Saturday and Saturday night. And then we'll come back Sunday, so you'll probably see that video sunday but i'll have a couple more videos between now and then so but anyway that's my plan for thanksgiving weekend we're gonna have turkey mashed potatoes homemade noodles and stuffing for our dinner friday night and saturday for her <laughs> right yeah so uh it'll be my thanksgiving thing i know it'll be after thanksgiving but you know it's just the way i gotta do it because i'm not cooking a turkey the week before squirrels up in your bird feeder yeah yeah he just hopped out <laughs> <laughs> so but anyway you know it's 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 my thanksgiving thing so and then i got my annual solo which will be in december we'll be out on we're going to try the island out huh? yes you're going to the island. well i'm gonna i say we <laughs> we're gonna try she she thinks it's cute she says it's so cute the way you say we and we'll go over here and you're by yourself because <laughs> i talk to you guys 
so yeah we're going to get a couple bungee cords I had mentioned that she's going to pick up a couple of those little bungee cords at the Dollar Tree mm. to wrap around my holes there so they don't fall off huh? yeah which I had mentioned that during the speed up so you're not going to hear that but you hear it now yeah that'd be a good idea so it should be a lot of fun yeah yeah I was told earlier I need to make another one we'll, I'm going to get my tractor road worthy we'll take them both down <laughs> there you go that would be fun so what do you guys think let me know in the comments below and um, you know we'll see uh it should be a lot of fun. It's different. Yeah. Why not? Made it out of an old bed frame and some free pipe and tent poles I had laying around that I wouldn't let her throw away. Mm. <laughs> so she's like, you always say, I got an idea. I'll be right back. And boom, there it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're building a hut. You know, the hut's, you know, 80% complete. Yeah. All I need's the roof, which I got everything for the roof. Maybe I'll do that this week. We'll see. And then uh, the sides, which I got to get those ordered. I'm not sure when, but once we get the roof on, we'll spend the night in it, even without the sides, huh? Yeah. Well, at least I will. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Oh, monkey says she's out. Bye, y'all. Shea Bear the Myth Man and him Golf for now. We'll see you in the next one. Hopefully you guys have a great week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday. So uh, we'll see you soon. Right? Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> I'm excited. This is going to be fun. So, All right, guys. <laughs> It'll be interesting. <laughs> Until next time. Bye-bye.